Joining us is military veteran uh, Major Mohammed Ali Shah. Uh, welcome everybody to the program. Uh, we bring in uh, Major Dr. Uh, Ali Shah now. Uh, you, as I see, you are wearing the uh, commendation from the Director General of Assam Rifles on your on your coat. Uh, I bring this up because the Assam Rifles and the Manipur Police have not been on the same page. And while serving officers have not argued in public, certainly the former DG. Uh, uh, Lieutenant General Nair has gone on record to say that he believed that drones have not been used to drop bombs. Mr. Kuldeep Singh's press conference implied exactly the opposite. He implied that the infiltrators that were set to come in were trained in the use of weaponized drones. The military has been divided on this. General Himalaya Singh uh, said that he believed a hook on the drones showed that they were used. The NIA is now looking at this. The fact is that we can talk about the unified command, but the security agencies are not on the same page on what's happening in Manipur. That's quite clear through the utterances of the retired officers, whether it's General Himalaya Singh, General Nair, uh, and we have two military veterans in this program. Your take, Major Shah. Barga, thank you very much for having me on your show, and you're my favorite, and you don't say that. It's an honor to be with you whenever I am here on your show. Thank you. No, Barga. Barka, you know, without offending anyone, I will just speak what I believe in, what is the truth. Now, I totally understand the pain, anguish, and the, the hurt it has caused the Turkey community in India with this intel report of 900 uh, people from Burma, from Myanmar, waiting to cross over to mm. India. Now, the, I am not supporting Mr. Kuldeep Singh, but I am, as a neutral party, I am saying any intelligent input, as Karan Sapam said, it should be taken seriously because God forbid if we take a chance and if something happens, then they will they're going to be held to pay. Now, Mr. Kuldeep yeah. Singh also said in the press conference that this intel report is taken as the truth unless and until proved otherwise, unless and until proved wrong. So until proved wrong, it would be taken as it is right. We have to activate on that. Now, if you think mm -hmm. logically and practically and pragmatically. The situation in Myanmar at the moment with military junta and the trouble that is in, I don't know whether the real, what I, I could be wrong, but I feel they cannot even spare 10 chaps right now. 900 mm. people, almost a battalion, almost a regiment coming in, did sound a bit far-fetched, to be very, very honest. So very fact that this input was given should have been substantiated that time itself. Well, it did not happen. I give the benefit of doubt because he was concerned of the safety and the security. I totally get that. I totally understand that. Now, because and secondly, I would also urge my cookie president not to misunderstand anyone's intention. The intentions could have been good. That say, oh, it is to malign a particular community. Just think rationally, take a step back, take a breather. So, 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 so you're giving benefit of the doubt to either side of this debate, in a sense. Yes, yes, Barkha. Very much. Okay, Major Ali, and then I'll give uh, Rami the last word. I don't know where Colonel Sapam went. I think we lost the connection to him. Major Ali, where do we go from here? Where do we go from here? The political dialogue that I think in principle everybody would agree on, that too is somewhat of a non-starter because the Kuki community wants uh, a separate administration and the Maiti community says that that is not uh, acceptable, that you know you cannot... You cannot change the status quo, as it were, of uh, of of Manipur. Uh, where do we go from here? Right, Barka. Barka, I totally agree with you. What you the statement you had made initially that you know, after giving out a report which could not be substantiated at that time, yes, reading a report and that uh, adds on to a further controversy. One could have just kept shut about it and let's just let it lie low because already it had erupted a controversy. Now just keep quiet. So that. Given win for many more people to actually think what could be the intention behind it and what is the ill intention yeah. of good or bad, ugly, whatever. But I see in this way that maybe the intentions were good, maybe it's misunderstood, and of course, anyone would be hurt. Everyone, every reason they, they, they to get hurt. 900 people coming across, I don't think a small number. I uh, would beg to disagree over there because 900 is almost the strength of a battalion, of a regiment. And as per the intelligence report, they would be operating in groups of 30. 30 these kids We would rather operate in a group of say four, five, four to six people for an operation. Not 30 yeah. people, 
laws or no? Imagine the vehicles, the logistics. Imagine the kind of uh, logistics requirements. So you were there. not, you were not, you were not convinced about the intelligence input to begin with. 